Okay, it's February 2nd, 2016. This is the variable frequency oscillator circuit. Let's flip on the breadboard here. And you can see the two LEDs. One of them is hooked up directly to the integrated circuit. The other one is connected to a set of contacts on this relay right here. If I can get my finger in a picture there, this relay. Uh, the circuit's running on 12 volts DC. Uh, let's go here. Oh, 11. Let's crank it up a little bit. So we're right around 12 volts. And um, there's a potentiometer in the circuit that allows the frequency to raise and lower. I'm guessing somewhere between um, one hertz to over one kilohertz. So anyways, you can see the potentiometer right down. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Right in there. Whoops. Right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that up. You can hear the relay clicking and the lights coming on. Like I said, the lower light is coming on via some contacts in the relay. Right here is the relay. And the upper LED is coming on via the output of the integrated circuit. So we'll go ahead and turn up the potentiometer. Right now it's at the minimum resistance value. Let's slowly go up to the maximum, watch the lights and listen to the relay. If I can get this screwdriver in there. There we go. And that's about halfway. And that's all the way swept to the ex other extreme of the uh, potentiometer. And it pretty much saturates the output so it stays on. Now I'm going to dial it back towards minimum. And it will start to slow down again. That looks like about halfway. And where are we? And that's about minimum. So wind it up one more time. See if I can get a better shot of the uh, potentiometer here. I guess not. Well, we'll watch the lights. Whoops, screwdriver came out of the potentiometer. There it is. Need some better lighting. Come on, get in there. There it goes. And we'll slow it back down. So later on I'll be adding some uh, information on how the circuit works and uh, what it can be used for. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye-bye.